surprise I'm here with a mystery box unboxing for you super excited it's all historical romance welcome back to my channel my name is Heather thank you so much for stopping by today today we're doing a unboxing of historical romance uh, it's a mystery box. I don't know what's in here. I did ask for specifics and I will link this um, buyer or seller down below. I got it off. Or it's off of eBay so they're, they're off of eBay not it. But um, I asked for specifics because I'm looking for older heroines in historical romance that have some sort of statue in their community and aren't just damsel in distresses so that's usually what I read anyways when I'm reading romance so I just wanted that specifically and I also oops, sorry and I also asked for historical romance that have step back because I used to not like step backs because I thought historical romances were not good books but <laughs> That stigma was stupid, and I admit that, so we're just going to move on. So, I can't remember the name of this person. Oh, Bookston 7th. Seven, oh my gosh, I can't read. So, Books on 7th Avenue is the seller, and it's really cool because it's on, on eBay. They say that it's 20 historical romances for, I think, $24.99 and you can tell them what you want so I don't know all right so the first one is not quite a wife by Mary Jo Putney I have no idea what this is about obviously so it has a step back of a ship so I'm assuming it's like a pirate thing maybe ships James Lord Kirkland owns a ship fleet and he's going to London. No, he's not going to London. I, I'm not going to read all of this, but evidently it's about somebody who has a ship and she's an innocent. Oh, it's a second chance romance. Okay, because Laurel gave James her heart when she was innocent, when she was a young girl, and now 10 years later. Okay, so it's a second chance romance. And it also says they must face common enemies and a very uncommon love. So that's exciting. Alright, and then I have um, Eloisa James' Four Nights with the Duke. And I've actually have this one on my, uh, on one of my lists. There's a step back right there. It's pretty. And I think this is another one in one of these series. Desperate Duchess series. I don't know if I have that already. I know I have something of Eloisa James over there. But okay, so this is cool. He offered me a devil's bargain. Spends four. He will spend four nights a year with her. Four nights and nothing more. <laughs> okay. Sounds interesting. The next one is Mon is the Hawk by Monica McCartney and I'm assuming this is a pirate romance because it has a not a pirate but you know somebody who is he's a seafarer half naked mer nursemaid comes out of the water so he saves her okay sounds cool and then again, I have another sea, sea, uh, ship book. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty. It's really pretty. This is by Stephanie Lawrence, and this is called A Buccaneer at Heart. Cool. Joanna Lindsay. Ooh, I've been wanting this book for a really long time. It says, Love Me Forever. Look at that. I'm assuming that this is a Scottish one. Oh, okay. Look at that kilt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I have A Most Dangerous Profession, and this is by Karen Hawkins. We have a set back that's pretty too. Okay. Again, I'm not going to read all of these to you because that's going to take forever. And this is by Grace Burroughs. It's called Board of Rakes. Garth. Garth. Okay. Yeah, this is by Sourcebooks Casablanca. I love them. They are awesome. And here's another. This is a Highlander one. This is by Lindsay Sands. This is Hunting for a Highlander. It's got a castle as a step back. That's pretty. Okay. And then the other one is a touch of Scotland. I like Scottish romances. I think they're fun. Ooh, okay. And this is by Jennifer Haymore. And look at that. Scandalous. Scandalous. Okay. I like. I, I said a touch of Scotland. It's a touch of scandal. Because, <laughs> you know, I, I can't read. Okay, so Touch of Enchantment by Teresa Medeiros. He's all shiny. Maybe like that. Okay. Cool. Ooh, this is by Paranormal. This is that's a paranormal romance. He's got secret powers. A visit from Sir Nicholas. Oh, this is a Christmas one. Yay. Victoria Alexander. Oh, look at that. So this is a Christmas one. I like. I've been looking for some Christmas um, romances lately. I have a plan, hopefully, to start a reading blog on Christmas romances. This is by Suzanne um, uh, how do you pronounce her last name? Enoch? Enoch? And this is the um, handbook to handling his lordship. Yeah, that's the back. They're delivering it. I like all the step backs. They're really pretty. This is by Connie Mason and this is um, Chic. It's a pretty step back too. It's about a princess Zara, raised by a warrior. So is he like a warrior prince or king or something like that? We'll see. We'll see. Oh, and then we have Sleeping Beauty by Judith Ivory. Ooh, it's got a back one. I don't have any. I don't have any back pictures on my books. Sometimes a kiss can lead to so much more. True that. And then I have To Please a Lady by Susan Johnson. This does not have a step back, but it does have a picture of a candle on the back. And the main headline is To Please a Lady. Ooh, it's getting hot up here. It's hot up in my, whoa, that was really close. It's hot up in my office. The Goddess of Hunt by Tessa Dare. And I've seen this one around a lot. This is Passion, uh, Passion's Dawn by Elaine Barbary. It's got pretty, I'm assuming that it's like a plantation romance. It's got horses on it. If you hear that banging, that's my washing machine. I apologize. And then the high... Country Pride by Lynn Erickson. I'm assuming that this is a western. I don't know how I feel about westerns because I usually don't watch westerns. Um, so I don't know how I'm going to feel about a western romance. We'll see though. Promise of the Rose by Brenda Joyce. So a step back. Ooh, look at that. It's pretty. It's a, it's a Scottish romance. I like Scottish romances. I just like Scotland. I think Scotland's is beautiful. I've never been, but I would really like to go. And then this is Reckless by Anne Stewart. Does not have a step back. I'm assuming that this is part of a series because it does have um, two books on the back. And this is supposed to be like a dark historical romance. 
I am excited. So my camera died in the middle of me talking about how excited I was about all my new romances. First book romances that I bought or that I got in the mystery box. I will leave the link down below if you want to check this mystery box out. I'm happy. I'm happy with all the books that I received. I think it's a good selection so I'm excited about it and I probably will check them out again later on down the road not right away because I have a little bit of a mess up here in my office with all the books that I have already that I need to read and go through and you know you know the deal but yeah <laughs> that was the hubs but yeah thank you so much for hanging out sorry if this video was just like you know, all over the place like normal all my videos are all over the place so hope you have a fabulous day and okay bye.